Good evening. It is Thursday evening. Tim is obviously listening to Top Gun. One of the danger zone. He's too cool. He's too cool for school. Lindsay's with us. Lens, are you gonna poke? There she is. So we're on our way to small group and I have a question for you guys. Is there such a thing as too much kitty footage? Because I have a vlog, but it is almost strictly Severus and Remus. That's it. They're adorable. I love them. They are my babies. So that's what I am now constantly videoing and taking pictures of. So, how much is too much? Do you guys like seeing them? Do you want to see a mix, like back to like what Tim and I used to do, you know, with different vlogs of our day, what we had for dinner, what we were doing that night, or do you like seeing the kitties all the time? <laughs> I think, like, I mean, I know how I would feel if I was watching someone else's vlog and I'd be like, oh my gosh, come on with the cats. But just so precious to our babies. So I will put a vlog up. It's going to be, it's going to be mainly the kitty footage. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I apologize for how little you have seen me. I know you've seen the kittens, but I know they're playing, but I know you haven't seen me very much. So I'm going to try to be a little bit better with that. I just, I can't help it. I have to film the babies. So I am getting ready to make breakfast. I'm going to have some eggs and some toast. I already made some tea. Uh, this is the kind of tea I'm gonna go with this morning. Um, I only have one more of these. These were so yummy. Uh, I gotta get me some more of those. This is Tim's. Tim usually likes to drink some kind of an orange or citrus tea. Nighty night. We've got some green tea. Blueberry Slim Life. And then I've got some ginger for tummy. This tea is actually from Harrods in England, in London, England. Uh, my mom had a friend who went there and she brought some tea back. This is delicious tea, I love this tea. And then just your average throat coat uh, for when you have a sore throat. So I really, I love my tea collection. Uh, they're, mm, they're delicious. I love tea. I do drink, I do drink coffee as well. We have some K cups here. We have another zeal there. Uh, so we do drink coffee, but I more so drink tea because coffee can upset my tummy in the morning. I have my pan here. I'm j I just put a little bit of uh, coconut oil in there. I don't use butter. These are from the Joneses, um, with from their chickens. So I'm gonna pick these two and two. All right. Okay. Did anyone else? Come on. 
Did anyone else really know that this was for like one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute? Did anyone know that that's what that was for? Be honest. Like, be honest, guys. Did you know <laughs> that that little dial on your toaster was not for the toastiness level. I always thought, oh, I think I wanted it like a three and a half toastiness level today. I thought they were just levels. I didn't realize that that actually meant that they cook your toast for that many minutes. Tim's like, oh, you're adorable. I'm like, how did you know? Like, was there a class? Is that, or is that just like, oh, you fill cups with beverages. I don't, I don't get it. Am I really that much of an idiot? I don't know. Eggs are cooking. Toast is done, just popped up. Ah, ah, ouch. Oh, I might have wanted it a little bit more of a toast in this level. I'm gonna get those buttered. One of my friends was moving and she gave these to us and she's like, we don't want them. <laughs> so, we had them under our bed and the kitties found them and now they love playing in them. They'll like crawl through them. Like, see? How cute is that? So we're not sure where we're gonna put these, but we know that we have to incorporate these like when Tim builds that tree or something because they, they love these things. So I'm a little sad. You know how when you go to flip the eggs because they both kind of grew together, but both of the yolks were like on the outside. So when I went to flip them, you know, I'm trying to like flip them so that the yolk doesn't burst when you flip it. Totally did. Wah! I mean, it still looks delicious. I'm still gonna eat it, but wah! No one likes runny yolk. No one. And there's my tea. Mmm. I'm going to sit and eat my breakfast. I'm gonna play with the kitties. I'm not sure where they went. They're pro Oh. Our little climber got up onto the couch and jumped down. But they're so proud of themselves that they can get up onto the couch. So I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna watch the kitties play. We have a grad party to go to later today. So it'll, yeah, it'll be a good Saturday and it's beautiful weather. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. I believe it is now August 29th. I am so sorry that I have not uploaded anything. I haven't given any new footage. There has been a lot going on these past two weeks. Uh, as you guys know, we did get kittens. <clears throat> um, Severus and Remus. Uh, it took them... Um, took them quite a while to adjust. We took them to the vet last Monday, so a week ago they got their first vaccinations. Remus uh, got sick from the vaccinations. He had, you know, a fever, really um, runny poo, uh, and then he even like hurt his foot, like he was limping and he couldn't walk and he was crying and it was just, oh my goodness, it was so hard. I felt like such a horrible mother. Um, Severus finally last night is now having solid poos. Remus, it only took him like a little while and then he's like back to normal. He's always had solid poos. But Severus for the first time last night had a solid poo. It's crazy. I know I'm talking about cat poop, but when you're a mom, I guess you get excited about these things. <laughs> and 
At least that's what I'm hearing. They are playing behind me somewhere. I can hear them running like back and forth and back and forth and then into our room. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to put you guys down on the floor uh, so that you can see the kiddos playing behind me. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys again. I've got some other big news. So, every morning before I leave, I always reach down and find them and give them both kisses because their mama loves them. So bright, sorry. Gotta make sure all the doors are shut so they don't get into anywhere they're not supposed to while mommy and daddy aren't here. Hey you, hey you, come here. Mom wants a kiss. Mama loves you. Mom oh, loves you, Remus. Loves you so much. Mm -hmm. There's one. Come here, Sav. Uh, Mama loves you, Sav. Mama loves you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let go. Go get him. <laughs> Good evening. I am getting ready to actually go into a meeting, but I got here a little bit early so that I could talk to you guys, because I know uh, just in my last clip I said that I have extra, some extra good news. Um, as most of you know, uh, I have been looking for another job, not because I am dissatisfied or unhappy with where I'm at now. I know that God has a reason for why I am working where I am right now. Over the past couple of weeks, I have had several interviews where I was actually called in uh, to interview for positions and every single one you know I thought the interview went really well um, but apparently you know obviously God had other plans because um, none of those jobs came through none of those jobs were for me and so I got really discouraged by that and I was wondering you know why is God withholding these really really good jobs from me is there a reason I'm still supposed to we be where I am at and then two weeks ago I'm sorry I might get a little emotional two weeks ago it was the first week that we had the kittens um, a man from our church called Tim and offered him a job. So Tim now has a full-time job and is getting paid overtime and oh my goodness God has just blessed us unbelievably with this. I am still continuing to work uh, at the rink. Tim now has a new job. Some days it takes him out of town that's okay because now I have my little fur babies to keep me company and I mean my family is right up the road from me so I will be fine Tim and I will be fine I am so thrilled God is just so good just when you think you have reached the bottom and you're questioning why God has done something or why he isn't giving you something that you think that you need or that you deserve Please don't think that he has forgotten about you. He might just be saying no because he has something better for you. So I'm going to leave you with that. That is our big news. Tim has a new job and we couldn't be more happy. So I thank you guys for your thoughts and your prayers. This has been, these past two weeks have been a huge, huge transition with bringing the kittens home and Tim getting a new job. But God is still good 
and we are thrilled for this new journey that he has given us. I love you guys. Talk to you later.